Hello everybody, my name is Leo and if you follow my channel you know that I did the review of the Moore GE Labs that you can check out in the card above or in the description below. This new video has the following objectives. The first one is to show you how the tone capture procedure of a wall amp and cab works in the GE Labs app, then to download a capture amp profile in the Moore GE 200 and this is a pretty cool thing as with the GE Labs app you can basically overcome the limitation of the G200 that does not have a profiling functionality. Finally, we will better listen to the sound capture, so please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Let's start! First of all, the reference amp is a Marshall Plexi with the following settings, where the two channels are jumpered. On the other hand, this is the gear you need. First of all, an audio interface compatible with the iOS devices with at least two input channels and two output channels. In my case, I'm using an iConnect Audio 4. Then you need an iOS tablet. In my case, I'm using an iPad mini. Then you need obviously the guitar, the cab and a mic. Then you need an account in the Moore Studio Cloud to upload the AMP profile from the G Labs and also in order to download it in your computer and then in the G200. In the G200 you need the last firmware that is the 2.0.3. These are the connections. Your guitar should go in the input one of your audio interface, the output one of your audio interface should be connected to your monitor system, then the output two of your audio interface should be connected to your AMP, the AMP to the cab and the mic should go in the input 2 of your audio interface. Now let's switch to the G-Labs app. You have to select the circle on the right of the app and then you should select the entire. Here you can see the connections you have to do. We have already spoken about it, so you have to press next. Here you have to carefully check out the volume levels. Carefully, because you have to pay attention to the fact that the levels have not to clip and that are not too low, as if they are too low you are gonna have a lot of noise. Actually, the most important thing to do in the whole profiling procedure is to set the audio level properly. The more the audio levels are set properly, the higher is gonna be the amp profile quality. Let's now start the profiling procedure, we have to press next here. Ok, now the procedure has finished and you can compare the profile with the real amp. Real amp, profile, and you can check the gain in order to verify if you need more gain or less gain. To me it sounds just fine like this. Now we can optimize the tone capture quality, playing the guitar and making the app listen to what we are playing. Let's do it. Done. Next. Now here we can change the equalization of the profile, the gain, the volume and so on and so forth. Always comparing the profile to the target amp. Now we can save our profile, let's call it Leo. Plexi, Jumpered, V2, as I already done a version 1. And here we can save it in the app or save and upload, and this is very important. We have to save it and upload it to the Moor Studio Cloud, because then we have to download it with the computer in order to upload it to the G200. So save and upload successfully, and now we have finished. <music> Once you have captured your rig, you should define an account in the Moore Studio website and you should upload the profile from the GE Labs app. Once done, you have to log into the Moore Studio website with your computer, download the profile you have just uploaded from the GE Labs app, like this, and then we can upload the profile in the Moore G200. How? Well, first of all, you need to update the G200 with the last firmware at least version 2.0.3. 
Then you have to connect the G200 to the computer via USB and open the Moore Studio computer app. Here I would select an empty preset, then you should select the amp slot, scrolling down until an empty slot, then you should press this little plus button on the right of the amp selection combo and select the GNR file you have just downloaded from the Moore Web Studio site. And then you have to switch off the cap section and that's all. Let's now hear some more sounds. Let's now hear some sounds. We will hear the sound of the G Labs, the sound of the G200, and then the sound of the G200 with the original uh, Plexi. Let's start from the G Lab. <laughs> To me, there is a little bit of difference. The GE Labs has a little bit more gain and the G200 has less gain on the other side, even though they should be the same profile. I don't know if you can hear it, but for sure I feel that the G Labs has more gain. In any case, I think that the result is really nice for both the units. Let's now compare the G200 profile of the Plexi with the original Plexi inside the G200. This is the profile. <laughs> Original Plexi. G200 with the profile. Having a profile inside the G200 is really exciting, even though I think that the G Labs is a little bit better, maybe because the interface I'm using has better converters than the one of the G200. So on one hand, it would be very cool when also the G300, for instance, get this type of functionality. And the other thing to try is to couple in the G Labs with, for instance, the Xonic X-Tone in order to obtain uh, actually something like the G200, but with the tablet. Maybe I will do a video about it in the future. Well, in conclusion, I have to say that having my whole rig inside the G200 is really something pretty cool. And honestly, to me, my profile of the Plexi sounds better than the original Plexi model included in the G200. And you can try by yourself as you can download my profile from the Moore Studio. This is the name of the profile. And don't forget to leave a like. Here, let me highlight some points. Currently, you can upload the profile only in the G200 and not in the G250 and 300. Moore is working on a firmware update for the G250 and the G300 in order to give us also this functionality. On the other hand, there are some hardware limitations in the G150 that prevent these profiles upload functionalities to be implemented in the G150. Finally, I really hope that Moore is going to implement this app also for the computer because I think that with an high-end preamplifier and audio interface, the results can be really improved. So we have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a thumbs up. It would be a great help. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.